Well, I was hoping to wait a, a few more weeks before I'd done this, but I've got my Ender A20 uh, 3D printer, which is a replacement to the one that blew up on Christmas Day. So, I've had this thing coming up for two weeks-ish, right? And the other day, I had another disaster again with this, so I just did a camera. Okay, so at the back here, right, so this bit here, this is where the filament goes into. Right, so actually, I'm comfy this side a wee bit, right, so as you can see, here's the filament spool, I'll grab the end of it. The filament comes down, oh, very springy stuff by the way. So the filament comes down, goes into here, then it goes into, as you can see, just past my thumb there, right, see that hole? It feeds into that, comes out the other end, onto here. Now this little white bit here on the, the, the top of that knurl, that head there, it's a push fit operation, okay? So, the problem we've got is, this thing, just keeps popping out. So it's needing to be replaced. Alright? So I don't know, there's a hopefully there'll be a bit of picture <laughs> away from the light. So So I went on usual. Uh, I've got myself some spares and I, I don't know I, I, I don't know if these are the right type. I know this one. This is for the one that comes out the hot end, right? That is definitely the right thing, right? This one, the, the head or the hex bolt head on to it isn't as long. Plus, it's a white head in this. Uh, sorry, a blue head in this. That one's white. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but when I push down on this, it goes down, and you can feel it. There's a spring. Now, that operates a locking mechanism, so... The white feeder pipe that goes into that locks. That one doesn't. So, that being said, let's go and see what I can do. See if I can get this. Uh, I'm going to try and, well, I might have to change it to them. And I've also got a spare piece of tube there. So, I'm going to take that white one out, put this one in with the blue cap on it. Hopefully it's the same size of thread. If it is, then that's job done. If it's not, then I've got a problem. <laughs> Let's see what goes. Right, so what we're looking at here now is, I've got everything out. And I can feel the problem right away with this. Right, that, that's no. There is no tension in that whatsoever. Okay, so. There's the head. Right. And that's what's, uh, that white bit there, there is no spring left in that at all. So, that's what I'm needing to get. And that is what I bought to replace it. So everything's checking out fine. We'll just screw this in. Now to be fair, this doesn't have to be mega tight, so basically all you're doing is just pinching it so it's got a hold. Then, refeed these bits through again. I can space them out in a minute once I've got this all settled in. Now, so this bit here, I push the blue in, you can see it now, it's springing back out again. As it springs out, it catches. And there you go. So we now have a hold on that. So if I space these back out again to the way I had them before, and that is it. So now, if I come back a bit, 
we should actually be able to see now the cable oh, getting fitted back in via the extruder again and it should self feed itself Rather than doing it manually, what you do is you, you push this in by as much by hand as you can. Okay, so filament's now in. This roller here is what grabs it and feeds it in and winds it all the way down. So, if we come to this side now, because now you'll get the idea of how this actually works on the bed itself. Now apart from that, that is really the only actual issue that I've had with this thing. Um, apart from bed levelling, you've got to watch for certain things. Small bits come off no problem. So, for instance, um, printing something like as small as this uh, a wee pin 15 minutes and then you just pop it off on the other hand when you print something like this and it's well actually if I bring the bed out <coughs> oh I'll not bring the bed out if I forgot I've got it on pause right but if I set it there at least you'll see it right that was over 15 hours to print and of course when you look at the base on that that is all that there is actually stuck on the hot bed so these things are a wee bit harder to get off but we got there so, so that's it just a quick one to do on the phone just to get you an update into that um, Busy working on my, my Star Wars project, so <laughs> can't wait to start building this. This is going to be so good, you're going to enjoy this. Um, but it's just it's a long process. I mean, there's a I've even got a leg printed now, so yeah. If you've not subscribed, get yourself subscribed and tick that box for the notifications because. This build is going to be immense, absolutely immense. In the space of two weeks, never done any 3D printing in my life. And I'm going to be able to build an R2D2. So, now I've got this fixed, let's get back to printing. I'll see you there on the next one. <laughs>